Hello everyone, I'm Sidernex and in this video we're testing this ZMNS2000 cooler pad which I bought for my laptop. Uh, so yeah, we'll just find out whether the cooler pads are just doing anything for your laptops. Quality, I'm recording with the ultra wide angle mode in my iPhone 11 Pro. And the lighting is pretty bad but the rest of the video should be fine. Alright, so the cooler pad comes with like two stands for uh, keeping your laptop safely in one spot and yeah you have those four rubber sticks on this mesh metal mesh it's fully made of a metal which is nice um, and yeah there's like a big hand on the back of this cooler pad and yeah on the side you have this circle to turn on and off this um, cooling solution cooling modes yeah you also have the free USB ports And as for my laptop, we're testing this uh, Legion 5 with the Ryzen 7 chip and the RDX 2060, uh, powered with 16 GB of RAM, so um, this is what we have to work with. We will test a bunch of the games and yeah, we'll just find out at the end of this video whether it's a um, good idea to buy the cooling pads for your laptops. So first of all, we're just uh, doing some office work and uh, you know, nothing actually demanding like watching Netflix and YouTube videos. Uh, so with all the cooling pads, my laptop stays at around uh, 40 to 41 uh, Celsius degrees on the GPU and the CPU. And yeah, now we just move on to the Grand Theft Auto 5. And then the GTA 5, um, as you can see, the laptop is just performing really nicely. And there aren't any frame drops or anything like this without the cooling pad. So yeah, the FPS is just great. And as for the temperatures on the CPU, we have 84 um, degrees of Celsius and on a GPU, it stays at uh, 60, 59 or something like that. And now we're playing the Battlefield 4 and in the Battlefield 4, on the GPU we have 60 degrees of Celsius and on the CPU around uh, 78 degrees of Celsius. So um, it's a bit cooler, but nothing crazy. And as for the noise, it's around uh, 45 to 55 decibels. So pretty noisy, but not so much. All right, so now it's time to test out this cooler pad. Let me just turn this thing on. And yeah, first of all, we're just uh, watching some YouTube videos and doing the casual work. Yeah, the laptop stays really quiet. The fan is just spinning, but you just don't hear this. Um, so it's pretty comfortable to work with. And as for the temperatures on the CPU, we have uh, 37 to 38 um, degrees and on the GPU 37. So it's less than it used to be. And, now, and we're playing the GTA 5 once again. Uh, the FPS again is just really good. We don't see any frame drops or anything like this. And as for the temperatures on the GPU, we have 54 uh, degrees of Celsius, and on the CPU, 79, 78. So it's better than it used to be. And while playing the um, Battlefield 5, the game is just also running pretty nicely. We actually get a better FPS than we used to. Uh, so it's also worth noting and pointing out. GPU stays at around 56 degrees of Celsius and the CPU at 77 uh, so it's pretty good as well. As for the noise test, the laptop stays much more quieter. Um, it's actually oscillating at around 40 uh, decibels, so, so it's a better score. So what's the conclusion? Do the cooling pads actually cool down your laptop? And the answer for this question is yes. They really help to cool down your laptop and get better temperatures while playing games and doing some high performance workflow. 
And if you have a bad cooling system in your laptop, you can definitely boost your FPS in games and temperatures will be much better. If you want to buy a cooling pad, just use the links in the description of the Amazon. And by doing so, you will support my channel as well. So this thing will be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave the subscription and like under this video. And see me in the next video. Cheers!